Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Now I want to talk to you about the concatenate command C. In my experience, it's one of the most commonly used commands. And I must admit, when I was first using this command, I thought C might stand for combine. And then I thought it might stand for cell because of its various uses. And we're going to go through some of these uses today with examples. I'm going to talk about how we can use this command to create a vector and to create a matrix, and to use it to combine vectors, selecting observations from a vector matrix or data frame, and excluding elements observations from a vector matrix and data frame. This concatenate means, if you look in the dictionary, it means to link up and hence uh, I guess a more layman's term for it is to combine. So we can create a vector as follows. C123 creates a vector one of elements 1, 2, 3, like so. Now if we look at the transpose of this vector, we see that it is a row vector, so x itself suggest that x itself is a column vector. Here's another example. I create a vector but where I have one missing observation. If you have missing observations you put in NA. Not applicable. Now the vectors don't have to be numbers. They can be characters. So here's a one. This and that. They can be of logical operators. T here stands for true, F stands for false. So R recognizes that. What we can't do is in a vector or, or a matrix, indeed a matrix, is to mix up the types of data in a vector or a matrix. Here I've got a character, I've got a number. If we type T1, you can see with the speech marks here, that means it's treating everything as though it was a character. If you attempt to attempt to mix the logical operator with a number, let's see what happens. Okay, it treats the elements as if they were numbers. So T here for truth is coded 1 and probably false is coded 0. Let's just see that that is the case. Let's say T2 again, C, F6, indeed, yep. Yeah. And finally, what happens if we try to mix a logical operator with a character? Treats the whole thing as if it were characters. Next, we'll look at how to use the C command to create a matrix. So, the command for a matrix is matrix, comma, and then here we enter the elements that are going to go into the matrix and then what comes next is shaping the matrix so n row stands for number of rows n col stands for number of columns and what happens is that with these numbers it's going to be converted into a structure of a matrix with two rows two columns and these numbers are going to be distributed column wise like so so one two three four so column going down the column going down the row first, so column-wise, one, two, and three, four. If we wanted to do it the other way around, distributing by across rows instead of columns, we put back here by row equals t for true. Now look at it. Now the numbers go along first the row. Now it doesn't matter whether you put n row or n col first so we can swap these two around let's do that so I hit the up button oops to trace back through my commands and just edit this so let's say I put n call first followed by n row okay let me, let's cut it no change that shows you it doesn't matter that we switch them around next I want to talk about combining vectors so we've created two vectors already, haven't we? X and Y. So I want to combine them. 
I just put C and put them side by side. Now remember R is case sensitive, so C here is little c, not big C. So there you go, a vector now. How about for matrices, combining matrices? Well, combining matrices, we use a different command. We use the C bind command or the R bind, standing for column bind or row bind by row. And we're not this not looking at that in this video because we're focusing on the command C. Next, I want to talk about selecting observations from vector matrix or a data frame. Let's look at X. It's a vector of one, two, three. Say I want to select a third element. This is how we do it. And this is why at some stage I thought C stood for cell. You know, cell three here. Enter, yeah, three. Let's just show you. If we pick cell, I mean, not cell. <laughs> if we look at the first element, there you go. It's picked out the first element. And this is what happens, it, how you select values from a vector. And we can select more than one, say one, three. This will pick out the first and third. And let's use Y. Let's use Y because uh, these numbers, you can see that's Y. Let's use pick out the first and third element of Y being four and six. So let's do that. So that would be C. And, we, and then in the brackets, we'll just pick out the uh, positions one, three. See, 